let's get to work. More of a like a dark. One. Yes. You are we on now? Right, yeah. Oh, we are on now. Oh, we oh we are on now. Chiffon is literally as evil as Jacqueline. 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 If you haven't figured it out, we are here at the West Bank Cafe, having just finished the amazing show at Lori Beachman Theater. I dream of Jackie. To Jackie's nightmare. I, and here we are with Miss Jackie Cox. Hi, Strawberry. I can't believe um, you, we've been talking about this show now, I feel like, for like months because we talked about it at DragCon and this way, the drag, and then now you got to see it. And it's amazing. Thank you. It you was, know, I, what I was actually, like, what I loved about it was that it, it is a, it's a sequel, but like, and there were some references to the first. But um, aside from just a couple of numbers that you did from the first show, it was like 80% all new. It was. And that's a lot of work, girlfriend. Yeah, so originally the, we weren't, I wasn't planning on it to be this much new material. Mm -hmm. What had happened was Blake, my director, choreographer, yes. they asked him back to do his show, Blake Sings Barbara. Mm -hmm. um, and they said, Jackie, would you want to do another I Dream of Jackie? And I said, what if I kind of changed it a little bit? And I did the same show, but from the point of view of the sister. And then as I got to writing it, I was like, oh, but I think she has she has a lot more to say than just like a couple things. So I, it kind of ended up being like 80% new. Um, the beginning and the end of the show are very similar, but the, the whole middle section, it's all Jacqueline. Yes. And Jacqueline you speaks in a are, bizarre mid-Atlantic accent. Well, I got to tell you, what I loved about this performance was that we actually got to see some of your acting chops like because you really were I mean I know it's cabaret I know it's drag I know it's campy but when you were Jackie to Jacqueline they were two completely believable characters I don't know if you noticed but every time Jackie came back on stage there was an applause well, I, because I, you, but, well, but it's because, like, because you're the good guy, and like, you know, that's it. You I, I did wanted, such I wanted a to great job. Wanted, it's like it's still me. It's, it's still, still me. me the whole time. I it's know, still me. but yeah, that's but, what you want. You yeah. want people to kind of get into it to the point of, like, this is how I am. I'm sitting there, and when you <laughs> when you were freed from the bottle. I'm sorry to spoil the ending, people, but it's over, so you, oh, missed, you it. missed it. Uh, when you were freed from the bottle at the end, I was like, yay. It's like she won. It's she like, won. It's like, it's like this like, is a drag show. It's not like a major motion picture, and you are sitting here like this is like Disney's next film. I know, like, like this I was it. so excited. Oh, it was gosh, great. Yeah. Let's hope Disney never sees this. Oh, please don't love it. Please sued. don't love it. No, because you changed so, the lyrics. They can't. It's it's parody. You can't parody. sue it, but the parody. You can't change the lyrics. You can't sue us. Neener, neener, neener. You can't sue a drag queen. You can't sue no, us. That's Un very unsuable. Untouchable. Sorry, that's all we got. Untouchable. Oh, that's a good Jacqueline. No. Oh. oh yeah, yeah, it's really fun. I got to <laughs> talk down like this. But uh, what I also like, so we were chat we were kind of chatting uh, today when we were doing that video shoot for Shad, Shade. Oh, Shade uh, Queens of NYC. Yeah. And um, we were chatting about your show, uh, and I can't remember who said. I think it might have been Gloria who said something. Was like, I don't know. Did she see your show, Gloria I, Swanson? I think she did. She somebody did. was like, she does like the voice. Like you know, if you ever watch the old, uh, I Dream of Jeannie, uh -huh. when we, it, like you know, Barbara Eden plays those two characters completely differently. Yeah. Right down to the voice. Yeah, yeah. So, it's, so and it, it, you nailed it. Well, and I went, I was, I went back to do the research for this show. I actually went back and watched interviews where Barbara Eden talked about performing. As both characters, she was like, I loved being Evil Genie because in the 60s they didn't bother coming up with a different name, so it's Genie yeah. and Genie, evil genie. Genie and just evil genie, genie and Genie. <laughs> and she was like, Oh, I loved being, I loved having a different voice, you know, because Barbara Eden, very much like myself, she's actually she's like a she's a lower alto, like yes. she's not a she's not this like perky little soprano that yeah. like so she that, had to work that voice as yeah as Genie, as genie. Yes. so it's really fun for her and me too to kind of play back in this part of my yes. voice. Um, that was great. Which is, I think, uh, which is, I think was, it was fun because I see, obviously, I see so much parallels between myself and Jeannie, yes, the original character. So it was fun to kind of play the opposite side of it with this too. It was so much fun. It was so entertaining, uh, and we just got done doing an interview with Blake. He is such a great director, and your shows are so clean and fresh and fast and like fast, like, like. It's over too soon almost. But yeah, then he flew in Saturday. You can't believe that the show is an hour, like a little over. It's like, it's just, it zips through because it's so clean and like, 
piece that you guys did this in six days. Yeah, yeah, we did. So he, he flew in, uh, oh, I guess he flew in Friday, and then Friday was the show. Yeah, so six days. He had Saturday. So it's a test to the kind of performers the three of you are. And what kind of director, choreographer he is. Blake is so great. I mean, I wrote the script. I finished the script about a month ago. I sent it off to him. And I was like, these are the songs, what I'm thinking. He had a couple, like, notes. And we changed a couple things. But then he just, like, wrote the whole thing out, like, how you wanted to do it and choreograph it in L.A. And then he just brought it here. And I just was like, yes, let's do it. You can take this show all over and like and uh, like eat both of the shows and also I mean I don't know if you if you have planned other shows with the with Drew and Blake because the, your trio is so spectacular you guys have so great chemistry what I love is all the live singing because the boys sing live too they do and, and I that's even, a rarity like, and I even gave them, I gave them more in this show too um, yes both for two reasons one practically to cover my costume changes. Very true. And two, because... They are very talented. And two, like, you can kind of see them, because I'm kind of... They've kind of started to develop little characters of their own, which I think is really fun for the audience to kind of watch them grow. You know, Drew always plays the optimistic and sweet one. I tell Drew, like, Drew, you play Jackie Cox in this yes. show. Yes! Like, you're the, the Jackie of, fan! Yeah, like, you're like... Yes. Well, in kind of the role that I always play my... When I play myself in Paige's shows, right? Because mm -hmm. Paige, you know... I love Sassy. doing shows with her, and I love when I'm in her shows that I could kind of be like the the, the, the sweet one. Yeah. Um, I'm like, Drew, so like, that's you. Like, no matter what happens in the show, like, you're hoping for the best. Yes. Which is really fun, I think. Which is why I love you so much. <laughs> and, then, and then with Blake, you know, Blake gets to really be like the voice of reason in both shows. Exactly. You know, because both Jacqueline and Jackie, you know, the apple didn't fall, fall far from the tree. Both those sisters, they, they both have a, they're not the smartest uh, smartest gals, yeah, not the not, smartest yeah, gals. Not the brightest crayons in the box. They're not the sharpest tools in the shed. So I actually noticed you pulled a song tonight uh, from a little-known production uh, from I think it was wasn't it the Aladdin like theme park stage show? Yes, it's an amazing song. It's one of my favorites. I heard it like when I was like, because you know, Shafan and I are always talking Disney. And um, we were talking about the live Aladdin show one time. And so they have the whole thing like on YouTube. Oh yeah. So I watched it and this amazing song, the solo, I was like, and it has like the melodies that are, that like exist throughout the film. Yeah. I am so disappointed that song didn't make the movie. Because it is It so didn't make it to movie great. and it didn't make it to Broadway. No, but I think it's going to make the live action movie. I hope so. I think it is. I think it's better than the one. I, I mean, I, I love uh, the uh, the movie musical. Courtney Reed is amazing, but I don't love the song they wrote for I her. I don't either because the song that you sang for this tonight, it's it's Alan Menken. Yes, and it is more poignant to her character. It is, and I think, and it takes yeah. us down on that Jasmine bitch fest. Like you know, she's the most independent. I think aside from like Belle, like in that Disney princess realm, she is like the fieriest of them to me because she's just not going to take it and like she doesn't almost to the point where people and I hate this but they're like she's a bitch I was like she's not a bitch she's just independent and she knows what she wants which Disney princess are you Strawberry Fields okay okay so I actually this is the real tea this is actually an inter interesting question so I actually feel like Rapunzel Oh. I connect with her mm -hmm. in so many ways. My favorite Disney princess though is Belle. But I actually feel connected to Rapunzel because a majority of my life has been to me until especially since I moved here. Mm -hmm. I felt trapped. I felt like, you know, and I always I'd always had a sunshiny disposition and I felt like there was always somebody trying to stamp it out. And there's like a line in Tangled, where she's like, they find the slightest bit of sunshine and they stamp it out. And I saw that I was going through a horrible breakup at the time. I was moving into a new place. Strawberry's going through it. It was an interesting thing. I was like, oh my god, I totally identify with this princess. And it's like, I don't know if she's my favorite, but I identify with her. So I identify I with her. I love Tangled. And I, I love, it's, my, it's one of my favorites, actually. I love it is really Mandy good. Moore's voice work. It's she's great. so great. I think she gave you some really fun choices I that was, are different. I was ex not expecting it to be as wonderful as it was, and it charmed me to no end. See, you thought... Like you do. You thought she was an Ariel. I know. That's what people would think. 
Now you, you know. know. Now you know. Now you know. And no real backstage, half the battle. Real backstage <laughs> Barry right you here. You just did me an interview question. That's like a first. Jacqueline, she likes to switch it no, up. She does, kids. So, Jackie, you asked me what kind of Disney princess I connect to or I... Who Strawberry who, is who, who, inside. How about you? Okay. Disney princesses. So, this is going to sound kind of random... Because I don't know if she's really a princess, but I really love Esmeralda from Hunchback. Um, I love her because she's a performer like me, and she always tries to see the good in people, even like someone who doesn't on the outside look like they'd be her friend. And that's something I love about her. Um, and I also love what her message is, which I very much identify as a as a member of the LGBT community, which is God help the outcasts, help those who are different. And I love that message. And I think that's really the only time you hear that specific message from a Disney, well, I don't know if she's a princess, but I'm going to call her one. Well, I think that now, like, in the canon of the Disney world, it's like a heroine is like a princess now. I'll take world. it. I'll take it. I mean, although I've had a couple of arguments with certain folks about, like, new princesses that are like, are they Disney princesses? I'm not going to talk about it on here because I will start a fire frenzy. Uh, but uh, no. <laughs> Not Merida. Princess Leia. What? Who are you talking about? What's going on? Uh, but also, actually, and before but before we go, you are always um, in, t like, you um, donate money to, like, this year for your birthday, you donated money to what organization? To Lambda Legal. Um, you know, and that's, uh, I, I, I love being able to use my platform of drag in, in whatever way I can to help people. And I love that there are so many of us who use drag in a way. Some people march. Some people talk about politics in their shows. Um, and one thing I was like, you know, with whatever little publicity I can give, um, I, I, I wanted to raise some money for a cause I believe in. Lambda Legal is in an organization that is actually on the front lines as the legal team that's helping fighting for equality. Yes. So they're, they're part of the reason we have marriage in all 50 states. Um, and now they're taking uh, Donald Trump head on with this transgender ban in the military. Great. So I think that was really is important. Is there um, any way, do you know offhand how we can donate to them or any information? <laughs> you can go on their Facebook, Lambda Legal. They have a page and you can go donate right there. Okay. It's, so, uh, Jackie, do you have any other shows coming up here? I do. Um, I'll be back with Paige again in Yay. December. Um, I think December 1st we open with Paige Turner's Christmas Carol. I've been trying to get her to do this idea for a long time. I'm like, Paige. We need to do a take on A Christmas Carol. Excellent. So it's going to be me, Paige Turner, Remy Germinario. Love Remy. Um, who was in our Pride show and the Easter show. He's darling. And then Carol Channing is back. James I Mills know. is Carol Channing. How do you guys get Carol? I mean, she is such a perplexing performer. It's amazing she's still alive. I know. She comes out there. I know there's a little rusty hinge action, but she comes on out for those shows. And it's it's going to be really fun. I'm very <laughs> excited for this combination because it's actually the first time that the four of us have done a show together. I'm excited, too. It's going to be great. So it's going to be really fun. I love the holiday shows. Well, Jackie, and, and aside from that, any other personal projects? Well, um, because I won So You Think You Can Drag, I will be uh, putting together a show at New World Stages. Um, right now we're looking at sometime in the spring. So um, oh, wow, that's all I know for that. Yay. Um, I'll be well, back. I hope you have a guest spot for certain people. Well, we'll see. Um, and then back in uh, later April and early May, I'll be back here with a brand new show I can't tell you about yet. Great. Um, surprises, and, kids. We love surprises. And I think sometime later next year, you will see the third and maybe last uh, installment of I Dream of Jackie. Oh. You have to wait till 2018. Well, there's, it's always nice to have something to look forward to, Jackie. I've just got a lot of ideas. Well, um, we're glad that you do because you are entertaining. You know how to put on a good show. You keep it solid, girl. You we too, love baby. It. I love you. I ya. can't. I just can't with you. I love there's you so much. There's strawberry pin. Can I, I get one? Can you sell them? I actually, my ex, my ex my, my, who's also one of my good friends, J James Cunningham, thank you so much for my Christmas gift. It's one of my favorite pieces. He's a wonderful person. Thank you for my gift. Uh, but I love it. Somebody actually said something about it today on the set, too. It's gorgeous. <laughs> like, it's gorgeous. Just like you. You are gorgeous. All right. Now, kisses. Mwah. 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 Before, we, before we are release you into the wild, 
Uh, give all your information to our followers. Oh yeah, please follow me at Jackie Cox NYC uh, on Instagram or Twitter. You can also find me on Facebook, Jackie Cox. Um, Jackie Cox NYC will take you to my Facebook page, or you can go to my original handle, which is Jackie Cox Twenty One. If you want to add me on my personal page. <laughs> I don't know. I love you so much. I can't. I love okay, you. kisses. Okay. Mwah. 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 Thank you. We'll see again. Thank you. And don't forget again to like, share, and subscribe. Tell everybody all about us, all about this one. And we'll see all of you fine folks out there in the internet world. We love you. Talk to you soon. Bye. Mwah. Work.com loves you too. Da, da, Adios. Da, 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 da. Yay. <laughs>